Hello everyone, I'm Joanne. Welcome to my craft room and we're going to play with some new product for uh, the month of May from Spellbinders today. There are links below for you to click on. There's a little word more that's in bold print. If you click that, the box drops down and then you'll see the um, the links. When you click on a link and place an order, I receive a small commission that's at no cost to you. Thank you so much for supporting my YouTube channel. So these are some butterflies, beautiful butterflies, that Spellbinder sent me. Today we're going to work with the Twilight Butterflies right here. I've already used a few of these in a card. These are the Sunset Butterflies and then the Summer Day Butterflies. So, um, but today we're, uh, I'm in a purple mood today for some reason, purple and blue. Uh, and we're also going to work with this new Better Press uh, plate, these new Better Press plates, New Beginnings, Timeless Sentiments. There's seven plates in here, and they are Here's to Beautiful Beginnings and Happy Ever Afters. Your friendship means the world. Your kindness means everything. We'll use that one today. Congratulations to you. I think you're pretty great. And those you could use together, right? And I think that's kind of fun. And, you know, this one, I think you're pretty great, could go with uh, many of these. Like, your kindness means everything. Then you could do, I think you're pretty great on the inside if you wanted to. Uh, best wishes today and always. Just wanted to say thanks. So I think that this one right here could be like an inside sentiment. So how much fun is that? Remember, better press plates can also be hot foiled. So here, I've got my little plate out here. I'm going to be using my favorite, my absolute favorite embossing folder, Flowers and Foliage 3D Garden Collection by Wendy Vecchi. I love this embossing folder. It's finally back in stock, which is wonderful. And I've already done that. And then for my little tag here, I've used the Fresh Pick Labels and Tags. So let's see, what size did I use? Because I'll need that out. I think it was this one. Nope, that one's too big. Oh yes, this it's this one with the little uh, one that you can make a tag out of, but um, I was looking, I couldn't fit my sentiment in there. I would have loved to have done that. That would have looked great, right? But my sentiment is just, I well, I don't know, maybe it would fit barely, maybe if I turned it a little bit, but we're not going to use it that way today in this video, but that is what this is for. But we're just going to use this one right out here on some better press paper. So that's wonderful. So that's a lot of fun. Just a new um, shape here, and I think shapes are fun. They're always fun for the background. So let's move this aside, and this piece, just some purple cardstock. It's five and a half by four and a quarter. And I'm going to use just some glue right here. Let me use my other glue. I love this bottle because it is... It's long here and it's far away so that you guys can see a little bit better, I realized. Oh, I might have a little clog. Okay, we'll use the other one. <laughs> I'll have to unclog it. All right. But I do love that little bottle. It come, came with, you know, you could put a little pin in it. And then um, it didn't come with a pin. I used my Barely Art Precision glue pin to unclog it. So just a little extra glue there because of the embossing, because this is 3D. It looks so pretty. Look at that. Those flowers are just beautiful. And I thought flowers and butterflies were absolutely gorgeous together. Let's go ahead and move this to the side. And I'll bring in some my Better Press ink. All of our inks fit in two tins as of right now. All of our Better Press ink. If they come out with more colors, I'll have to get another tin, right? So, I'm just going to put my paper here. And I'm just using my little cross section, my grid there, just to hold this down. And I'll put that in the middle of it. I love new product. Last month, though, I'll tell you, that propagation garden, that takes the cake. I just, I went nuts over that. Okay, here we go. A little black ink here. I'm going to do the black because of the black on the butterflies, just to kind of pick that up a little bit. And because we're cutting it out with a die, it really doesn't have to be that straight. Just 
just like that. And make sure your better press is at the bottom and a better press at the top. This has to be at the bottom for if you're lining something up, this better press has to be at the bottom there. Okay, let me move these aside. Bring this in and feed that through. There we go. Let me get my cutting plates on here. And let's reveal this. There we go. Ta-da! Oh, I actually had it upside down, didn't I? That's okay. I was like, wait a minute. But it's okay. Just flip it around. This is one good thing about just cutting it out with the die that we have here, right? Oh, where did it go? Here it is. I'm just going to line that up. And I'm kind of pushing it over. I'm putting this over to the left a little bit because um, uh, I will put a butterfly where that little hole is. I think we're good like that. Roll us through. There we go. Take that out of there. Isn't that pretty? It has a nice little um, border around it. Kind of lifts that center up also. Nice. All right. Anything, I love anything fresh picked. You know I do. So fresh picked flowers. Now I'm going to clean this with my Extreme Clean from LDRS. I'll put the link below for you guys to use if you want to order this cleaner. Just a link to their website. Use the code MELANIE15 and that will get you 15% off of your order from them. MELANIE15. Look at how nice that cleans that up. Isn't that wonderful? Really like that cleaner. Okay. Whoop! Didn't mean to give you guys a ride there. Put that on. And let's bring our card front in. And let's bring this right here. Now on my card, I put this down flat, but today I'm going to pop it up. I'm using the... Uh, foam strips, the adhesive foam strips, half inch. These are new from Spellbinders. And I'm just going to put a couple of these on here. Really nice. Just cutting that, just like that. I think they're two millimeters thick. It gives you a nice rise, you know, for some dimension. Okay. And I think, I know I did this one straight, but I kind of want this flying like my butterfly today. Let's try that. Something different. Don't always have to make it the same, right? I don't always have to do matchy-matchy. Okay, let's see. So... I love the purple, but I love the blue with the purple. Let's look at that one. That one's a little big. This one looks pretty. And so these are self-adhesive. Look at that prism effect there. Just a little glitz, even in the antenna. I think that's so cute. So I'm just going to place this one here and then just let it go onto my card. And then its wings come up like that. Isn't that sweet? I love that. Now, let's go ahead and which purple? Oh, I kind of like this little one, actually. I don't know. I wanted a bigger one. Let's use this big one. Why not? And I'm just going to stick this one right here. 
like I said, self-adhesive. Makes it easy peasy, right? Now, just some um, crystal mix. Right here. New releases are always fun. Okay, now come on. There we go. And let's go ahead. And I'm going to use the white ones because they're going to pick up the hue of the purple. I think that's going to look really great on here. Oop. There we go. And I'll just use a couple up here. I'm actually going to mix it up, the white ones and the iridescent ones. And these, look at, see these itty bitties? I love them on the little butterflies, but I think I'm going to put two on this one instead of the one. I used one on the other. And I'm going to put two, a medium and a small right there. And then I'm going to put two right here, a medium and then like a large or small right here. Just using my sizes, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we want seven. I always like, I mean, I want a large one. I, you always like to do these in um, odd numbers. It balances out your card. At least that's what I was taught, right there. And here is our beautiful card for today. It's so easy and simple and fun using our beautiful Twilight Butterflies. How nice is this? I have a few more to use in this color for other projects. This really came cute. But when I saw that this one, I liked it, but I thought a little bit of angle on there might, might be just fun, right? Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. I really wasn't done with the crystal mix. That's just so funny. I do this all the time. I want to put two iridescent ones on here to pick up the, um, like that uh, glitter that's on the back of the butterfly. So let's go ahead and use like a medium and then the smaller medium. So I'm going to put this one here. Look, look at that, pick that color up. Isn't that pretty? Sorry, guys. I do that all the time. It's like I go to put my things away and I'm like, wait, I forgot something. So now we have nine crystal mix on there. Okay, now, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.